fake tattoos, winter to summer, reimagining architecture, changing cars, and turning trees into octopuses. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a treat, mostly for me. You might get something out of it too, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to use the Auto 111 API and we are going to call that from AR. And so previously I'd done this like scripting stuff where I had used like stable diffusion within WebXR, but, but it was very slow. Like, so it took like a minute and a half. And now you can get that down to uh, like five seconds. And before it was, yeah, a minute and a half. So this is a lot faster. Um, also, depth to image works incredibly well with the depth API. So you end up with uh, self consistent images that are like that work with the depth with it that you're capturing from the photo so like it like it looks a lot better also the depth api can you can crank up the strength value so high that it wipes out all the white so like one of the problems that i was having in canada is that white just destroys computer vision like it's like the snow just destroys it all and you just like it's very hard to get very coherent results in canada a quick explanation on what's happening here uh i am having an ar scene the depth is getting captured from the depth api so we're having a bit of a 3d map Map, and then we are also capturing the image at that same point. Uh, so that means that we have the depth map and the image, uh, and then the image can get sent off to stable diffusion uh, that can do some image to image repainting, and then it sends it back. And in that way, we have a like, a, like it looks like a 3D model in our space. Uh, it's like the depth map is pretty low resolution, so it's like 100 by 100. It's a very like low resolution depth map that the depth API gives you. Uh, but the images are so cool. And then also we're using the depth to image as well. So the other thing that I find really exciting about this is it solves like a whole class of problems at once. Like uh, in AR, there's a lot of like static problems that people are interested in. So things like if you have your arm and you want a tattoo on it, like how can we make an app that can project a tattoo onto it? And like this can do that. And it can also do the thing where like there's a lot of people who are like, I want to do a fake map over my car so that I have a new car. And like this can do that and it can do all these things terribly. But like the thing is, is like if you're looking for like an MVP or like a first product kind of thing, uh, this can definitely be one of those kind of gateways into starting an idea up also if you make specialized models like this might actually you maybe could get pretty high quality if you like specialized your efforts into a particular direction um it, like yeah there's a lot of apps like in terms of like people talking about like changing ho house decor like that's really easy to do in stable diffusion with like change it like there's already websites like that and you can do that with ar2 now so like you could be like oh i wonder what this uh couch would look like if it was an ikea couch and then maybe like ikea has its own model or something like there's like that's something that like a lot of people on the AR uh, subreddit Reddit get like really excited about like I I don't know how what AR is going to be used for in the future. I'm more curious about bushes turning into dragons and like octopus trees and stuff. But like <laughs> I think I'm just excited about it because you know when people tell you you're gonna lose all your imagination when you become an adult. I was feeling that for the longest time. At this point, I feel like I'm more of manifesting my <laughs> imagination. Like so yeah, I wanted to go like I'd previously done a very similar project. I just wanted to go over all of the improvements that I made. So. So to start off with, the old version of Stable Diffusion that I was using was about 40 seconds an image, whereas this is like three seconds an image. Uh, then I also uh, upgraded the transit time. So I am going over local network now, so there's not a triple jump that I was doing before. Also, we are sending the images in base 64, which is a lot higher compression than the JSON that I was using before. So I was doing some really stupid things with the networking before. I've cleaned a lot of that up. It's still a little bit strange. Like I needed to call it through an SSL certificate so I had to do some self-signing and some weird things with reverse proxies but it's still a lot faster it's like I still might need to clean some of that stuff up but that's a lot better uh, we're using depth to image uh, the stable diffusion versioning is just better than it was at the time I think I did that with like uh, 1.3 uh, or maybe it was 1.4 uh, but especially the depth to images are very powerful algorithm um, because we're using the auto 111 API it's much easier to tie in all of the variables that you can change whereas before uh, I had to hard code a lot of that now I can like let you use however you want things like negative prompts are allowed uh, which is really important in this type of idea because a lot of times there's things that you want to exclude yeah that's like all the things that I've added <laughs> uh, the other thing that's really cool is there's a recent update to the image to image API that allows you to call scripts so we can also call background removal which like that just makes it so because you don't you don't end up with these boxes you can just cut out the rest of the box and then you just end up with the image that you were interested in so like uh uh, I haven't fully tested it all out and like there's a lot of li little things that I haven't tested with it but like it's just really cool <laughs> uh, so you can just do some really powerful things right out the gate that like with my old system you couldn't do because it was all just the basic stable diffusion this is all the like 
all of the advancements that have been made, you can just kind of rope in really quickly. Uh, one of the things that I did a little while ago is I made a math uh, text embedding. So I used a bunch of my math notes and I turned that into a textual embedding. And I just wanted to see, like, one of the things I've always wanted is a math tattoo. And so it's like, you can just test out how that would look. Um, this is not the math tattoo that I wanted, though. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to think of another, yeah, like, I wanted something a little bit cleaner than this. <laughs> Another thing that's probably going to require a little bit more work, but I think it'll be really valuable in the long run, is trying to integrate my shared reality idea. So that was where you have two different AR scenes that you can glue together, uh, and they can kind of share information between them, and they'll be in the same reference frame. So if one projects an image into space, the other one will be able to see it. Um, that does require a bit of effort in terms of synchronizing the image spaces and stuff, but it would be so cool, because you could like take a picture and be be like oh i think this like bush looks like a dragon and then like show that to your friend and they'll be able to see it and they'll be like no i think it looks like a tiger and you could just have these like really weird back and forths and uh just in terms of the imagination that goes on here i feel like there's so many possibilities and it's such a weird space <sighs> I just think this idea would be really great for just quick storytelling because you can kind of just set up a few different AI characters or like standstills or whatever, and then you can just move through them. So I think in terms of like, I think this could be a really cool tool um, for storytelling. <laughs> I'm not a very good storyteller, so. <laughs> So there's so many places that you can take this idea. So in particular, I really wanted to get image, or I, I really wanted to get in painting into this. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to wait till next week to do that because uh, there's a lot of just details on how you actually do in painting that end up being a little bit challenging. A lot of details in the matter that you just have to kind of try things and see what works. Also, the depth map script that's attached to Auto 111 would be a really powerful addition because you could do depth mapping after the AI image is created, which would make it look more detailed in the world. Be calibrated off of the image that's created rather than like right now it's just being projected back onto the real world map also the depth maps from that script are a lot higher quality because they are not real times so they're a little bit slower but they're fast enough they're like two or three seconds um and they are also a lot yeah they're a lot higher quality um they aren't i need to look into like how they are physically based i think they're relative depth maps rather than absolute depth maps like the one that's from the depth api so that might cause some issues and i might need to figure out how that works but i think it would be really good especially if you're like adding in fake people into your scene and stuff because having them mapped onto walls and stuff is just like like they, they all look very flat and so I think it would be much better to have them kind of projected out into space and you can do that with the uh, yes uh, um that's just all really exciting I'm just excited right now <laughs> so the code is going to be up on github it is like the messiest code I've ever written so um yeah don't expect high code quality um I also think that for the networking component it probably won't work straight out of the box uh so I'm going to work a little bit more on making it more accessible because I would like people to to be able to use it and then yeah in, in particular i think there should be a way of getting auto 111 with ssl working i was just having difficulty i couldn't find an option for turning on self-signed certificates so it seemed to only want certificates that were provided by a host like fast api seemed to do a check or something part way through i'm not entirely sure i need to look into it in more detail but yeah um and thanks and have a great day <laughs>